Freemasonry is an ancient and somewhat mysterious fraternal organization that has captivated the curiosity of many throughout history. It is steeped in tradition, and it has fostered a brotherhood through its shared experiences and obligations to one another. The members of the organization focus on personal development, which often turns into an obligation to the world, often seen through services within their community, state, and nation in various capacities. In this video, we will explore what Freemasonry is all about and provide you with a step-by-step -step guide to becoming a Freemason. As a side note, the creators of this video are Freemasons in Texas, so the process for you may be slightly different. However, with the multitude of acknowledgements in service and education to the craft, we believe that this guide will set any inquirer on a path to understanding, where one can make an educated decision moving forward. Freemasonry is a global fraternity that dates back to at least the early 15th century. It was formalized into a Grand Lodge system in 1717, based on a system of moral and ethical teachings, symbolically conveyed through a system of degrees or rites of passage, which utilized the tools and rituals associated with stone or operative masonry in a speculative nature. Although its origins are commonly believed to be rooted in the guilds of medieval stonemasons, modern Freemasonry has evolved into a society that aims to promote personal development, moral uprightness, and community involvement. Freemasonry operates through lodges, like local chapters, where members meet for fellowship, education, and ceremonial rituals. The fraternity follows a hierarchical structure, with each lodge being governed by a grand lodge at the state level. To become a Freemason in Texas, you must meet the following basic eligibility criteria. Be a man of at least 18 years old. Believe in a supreme being or a higher power. Possess good moral character and a desire for self-improvement and have a sincere intention to join of your own free will and accord, without any undue influence. Also, take the time to research and learn more about Freemasonry. Visit the official website of the Grand Lodge in your state. To gain insights into its history, values, and charitable works. Reach out to local lodges to inquire about membership and any information sessions or open events they may have. It is strongly encouraged to visit several local lodges before deciding on which lodge, if any, you'd like to move forward with. Freemasonry follows a process of personal introduction. We do not seek out or invite potential members to join. This is a time for the lodge to get to know you as well as for you to meet the lodge members. Once you have found a lodge that you enjoy visiting and are ready to join, then it's time to approach someone you know who is a Freemason and express your interest in joining. Keep in mind that there is a process for receiving a petition for membership and joining a lodge. This process may vary by lodge however the basic process is generally the same. If you are asked to come back and visit the lodge several times, this may be a good sign. However, it then becomes your responsibility to request a petition from a member. You will then need to request signatures of recommendation from other members to move forward in the process. However, ask too early and they may not feel you took the time to truly understand what you are asking for membership to and may decline. If all is good, complete the necessary information, including your details, educational background, and reasons for seeking membership. Return the completed application to the lodge. After submitting your application, you will be interviewed by several lodge members. This is an opportunity for both parties to get to know each other better. Additionally, a background investigation may be conducted to ensure your suitability for membership. Your family will be requested to be a part of this process as well. Most proper investigations are done at the petitioner's place of residence with the spouse and children present. This is also when the discussion of time and financial commitment is discussed. You and your family need to know this is not a passive membership. Though we value our quality of life and our families, Freemasonry is a lifestyle that sometimes feels like it infringes upon one's life but if balanced properly it enhances one's lifestyle. To receive the full benefit, one must be fully committed to learning the art of balance. Following the interview and investigation, the lodge members will vote on your application in a secret ballot. If the vote is in your favor, you will be notified and invited to proceed further. If not, it was simply not meant to be. Anyone can inquire, but few are accepted. If your ballot was favorable then you will receive the first degree of Freemasonry. The first degree is a pivotal rite of passage where new members are introduced to the principles and symbolism of Freemasonry. It is a profound and meaningful experience designed to instill a sense of unity and purpose. Participating in the initiation rituals is a requirement to join and an important commitment to the fraternity. As a newly initiated Freemason, you will begin your journey of continuous learning and personal growth. 
participate in lodge meetings, engage in discussions, and attend educational programs organized by the lodge. Embrace the opportunity to build lasting relationships with fellow members, building a sense of brotherhood. Freemasonry offers a unique and enriching path for personal development and moral exploration, which fosters a commitment to the betterment of our world. Becoming a Freemason is a lengthy process. However, once you become a Mason, you will always be a Mason. Therefore, try not to rush the process. We, at Masonic Improvement believe, by following this guide, you can embark on a journey that promotes self-improvement, fosters meaningful connections, and contributes to the betterment of society by following this guide. This process requires an open mind, a genuine desire to learn, and a commitment to upholding the values of Freemasonry. Enjoy your journey! If you enjoyed this video then please show your support by leaving a thumbs up below and subscribing for more Masonic content. Thanks for watching.